and that is to defend the rights of working people. We are here to do our part across the miles with our brothers and sisters in Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, Florida, and who knows who's next. Wherever that fight is at, we will be there alongside them across the miles as well. Again, thank you for coming out today. Yeah. Yeah. Give a hand. Yeah. Yeah. What has made the union movement and this country so great? And what that is, is people of all nations, of all races, of all classes standing together. We are privileged today to have speakers from the union movement, the Democratic Party, the Lady Dems, veterans organizations, and countless others, and we thank them all for coming out today. Yeah. And that's really what this comes down to. Whether or not you believe in collective bargaining rights, we as Americans believe in all rights. Yeah. Yeah. We as Americans do not go back, do we? Yeah. Do we as Americans ever give up any right that we have fought for and won? No. Do we as Americans roll over and let corporate greed shut us down? No. Do we as Americans let the minority of special interest and corporate CEOs override the common good and interest of the working class? Yeah. Who here needs to count on health benefits? Yeah. That's why we're here standing today in solidarity with the workers, the public workers in Wisconsin. What's happening in Wisconsin is not an isolated event. This is an attack on workers' security. Don't crush public workers! Don't crush public workers! Don't crush and keep on speaking out! These very same politicians support tax break for corporations and CEOs while the middle class suffers. That's just dripping in wrong sauce in my book. Privatizing public work results in the same old political corruption. While the middle class is attacked, politicians give jobs and contracts to their cronies and big money contributors. The only way to stop these attacks is through our unions. Without unions, we cannot restore the balance to our economy and these attacks will continue to go unanswered. I'm Bill Murray. Question for you as you look around, where is the leadership of Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why aren't they here to face the people? It's not just all about the unions. It's about process. And in this particular case, it's about due process. Yes. It's how the city itself, any city, deals with its workers, yes. fair and honestly, or dishonestly through legislation. What we're seeing today is an onslaught against all your individual rights. Yes. Yeah. What we need is the city council and the mayor to strongly come forward and say this is not how we do business. Yeah. Yeah. And collective bargaining is part of due process. Would you ever go into court without a defense attorney? No. Well, that's, that's basically what you're being asked to do. You go in there, the prosecutor finds you guilty, the judge sentences you, and that's the end of it. Yes. The newly elected governor of Wisconsin wants to completely eliminate collective bargaining rights for all public employees, state, county, and municipal, except for salary. In case you don't know, salary increases for public employees are tied to the consumer price index. It is a moot point. It's not about salaries. Along with loss of bargaining rights would be concessions on employee payments towards health care and pensions. No one is arguing with the fact that Wisconsin, like almost every other state, is deeply in debt. Not even the unions. No one is saying that concessions would not be given. Everything should be laid out on the bargaining table. However, the complete and total loss of over 70 years of bargaining rights is more than most people can stomach. Yes, right. yes. Right. yes. unions for private companies have agreed to concessions. 
but these concessions were fairly and rightfully bargained. Yes. Yes. Workplace yeah. safety and working conditions are causes for concern since public employees are not covered under OSHA law. These items are covered under state law and union contracts. Families rose up and helped form unions in their workplace. When the labor movement began, most were working teenagers. Many worked 10 hours a day and five on Saturday. There was no vacation, no sick leave, no pension, no job security, no workplace safety. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Thank you for your voices. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for stepping up today. And we appreciate you making a difference in Wisconsin and around the world. Give yourselves a hand, please. Will you be back next week? Yeah! If this fight is not won next month, will you be back next month? Yeah! If this fight goes on indefinitely, will your commitment and your resolve to victory go on indefinitely? Yeah! Thank you for defending workers' rights. Thank you for coming together side by side and living out our most important right in this country. God bless you all, and thank you very much. Yeah!